Okay, so item one, saltwater generator, ask away. Okay. Any questions about that? So you say, okay, what's in there? You say there's water and lemon juice. What's going on with that? Well, he just adds the lemon to the other water reserve because it keeps the system clean. You know, it's not really doing anything substantial. It's just a cleaning agent. So it was just kind of a joke at the time, but okay, it so just runs. It, it can, it doesn't need, but it could be dirty water. It could literally run on, run on sewage or something. Could it? It's using a, a field that's, that's causing disassociation at a molecular level. So it's just going to pull wow. the hydrogen out and wow. just give you pure hydrogen and everything else is just run off. So it is, it's a hydrogen splitter. It's, it's, it's taking the hydrogen mm -hmm. off the water, the, so, and then oxygen is the output, and that's wild. Yep. And that's, that's, people it, have died. People have died for that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't so, kill me. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. So this thing, so what kind of output, what kind of like... I'm, I try to steal the job. How, how much power can huh? this thing put out? I mean... What kind of power are we talking about? I mean, depending on size and, and ratio and what you're doing, you know, uh, depending on application. But typically, uh, we've been using them in conjunction with normal fuel systems, like uh, diesel engines or things like that, and getting 50% better gas mileage by adding water alongside the diesel. So it's, it's used in conjunction with a normal gas combustion or diesel combustion Engine. That's what we've been doing so far because that's the only thing we're allowed to even or, remote or you'll approach. Get a bullet in the brain, kind of thing. So, um, plasma field. He had said something about he can change the size of the field. He can make it to the size of like a baseball or the size of a room or they can make it really small. And uh, they've been messing with it trying to control the size because the applications uh open up a lot like uh currently they've been making it the size of a tennis ball so that they can hook it up to the back of a tailpipe on cars and it actually dissolves the particulate matter coming out even more and it reduces emission oh, so it just it, it, so it, it totally wipes out the molecular state of the the particles that are coming out yeah oh my god that's right yeah, so it, it neutralizes those and it, and it reduces emissions by like 50%. Wow. By just putting plasma field appearing in the back of the car. You know, you don't see it, but it's like one device, emissions, that's mm -hmm. huge, you know. So this is just for vehicles, and you say that also it has health applications, that they're looking at anti-cancer as an anti-cancer yeah. uh, treatment. Yeah, weird stuff. Uh, like, because of the nature, uh, you can control free radical damage almost completely with this thing. So you can either eliminate it or cause it. In, in excess in anybody by by cause because that's basically what free radical damage is it's an element of disassociation they're taking uh your, your body is breaking down molecules and one extra electron goes with one atom and one too few electrons go with the other atom and it creates kind of a, an electrical imbalance um, when that electrical imbalance happens like a billion times on a single cell it almost looks like that cell gets zapped with a laser and it turns into a polymer and so when we're doing like blood morphology or we're looking at the stuff under a microscope, it, it appears as pools of polymerized protein. And uh, that's, so that's the end result of free radical damage. Your body literally is dying from free radical damage. It literally is breaking down physically. And this can either completely eliminate it or trigger it to, to mass degree, you know? Like if the wrong people got something like that, they could make somebody look like they were just aging instantly and no one would know why, you know, scary stuff. Wow, wow. But on the other hand, it could do the opposite, you're saying? It could... Yeah, on the other hand, you could program it to, A, destroy cancer cells only, because cancer cells have a unique uh, biomarker. Or frequency. And uh, you, could, you, could, you could set it to that frequency for that biomarker, and, and you could only destroy cancer cells. So you could take somebody with a tumor, pass them through, the tumor is instantly dissolved into nothing, and they are only what remains. Wow. You got a big tumor, it sounds pretty scary. Not, you know, I don't know. But on a on a smaller, smaller scale application, standard stuff, which is why they're trying to control the size, you know, um, so they can do it to just this section of the lung or just these particular, you know, areas that are even on a micro scale, you know. So you could either cause free radical damage or antioxidants to form. And even further, 
what we're, we're exploring is uh, redox signaling, wow. where you can you can use antioxidant data to send cellular signals that trigger the body to either like you, like your cells will not die unless they're told. You know, your cells are immortal. They have to receive a signal to to, to acknowledge that it's time to die. Someone has to tell them that. If you just keep the you keep them clean and you keep them away from other cells, it'll pretty much live forever. We can use something like this in conjunction with redox signaling to eliminate that from even happening and your cells never get told to die. Weird stuff. That's I mean, the, the pencils are. So we've, we've all heard about the death ray, but we've never heard about the life or death ray. The life ray, yeah. <laughs> the life or death ray. That's the god of judgment ray. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty so this is like another one of those weird little devices that's entirely underrated. And uh, this this thing right here, I don't know if you can see this like little box. Oh, can you see that? If you gotta yeah, keep steady on me. it. Yes, yeah. I see the things with wire. Little thing with the adapter with wire. Yes. Yeah, little 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 adapter with a uh, computer chip controller valve that can take any vehicle on the road and improve its gas mileage dramatically. Like we had SUVs getting thirty percent better mileage. Like it's not you know. And it's pretty easy to install, but if you feel freaked out, you can just get somebody else to... Who, who would be the kind of person who would be able to install this? Just like any, any mechanic? Any, any, any normal guy can do it. You know? Okay. Any old, you got an older guy in your life that you have a, are struggling to find a gift for, like get him something that's going to like save him thousands of dollars and it's going to be a really cool, fun tech project for him. The dude is going to be stoked. You know, cool. Doesn't get doesn't get much better than that. I like it. I like older it. guy. <laughs>